Secret Story Gaming, here to bring you the number 5 worst game of all time, Superman for the Nintendo 64, or as it's more famously known, Superman 64. This is a single player game that was released in 1999 by Titus Software. This game is rated E for everyone, but in all honesty, nobody should be allowed to play this piece of crap. Obviously this game is based on the raging battle between Superman and his evil nemesis Lex Luthor. Luther traps your friends in some sort of virtual version of Metropolis. They don't really give you a whole bunch of story in this stupid game, but you are charged with saving the day. I guess it sounds pretty cool, right? Well, there is a reason this game is on a worst games of all time list. Let's get into why it sucks so much. First off, this game does a phenomenal job of testing your patience. You repeatedly ask to quote unquote solve puzzles throughout the game, but all the puzzles are simply flying through these fucking rings. Flying around as Superman would sound cool enough to make the game worth it if the flight controls, the physics, and the buttons weren't so goddamn tasking. Superman appears to have zero control over his flying. He's shown changing directions and flailing everywhere. It's really anything but cool. During these flight missions, I constantly found myself missing a ring or grounding only to find the timer running out and having to start the entire mission over. It's really annoying. It's a shame that the flying isn't even the worst part. The worst part would be a toss up between the corny fighting system and the god awful graphics. This game is no Street Fighter 2 by all truth, but a game about Superman should have a multitude of ways to beat up villains. Some strength, some speed, superpowers, almost none of these are displayed when you're mashing out the A button to do this stupid, ridiculous, three hit overhand club chop combo. I mean look at this. Look how ridiculous that is. What the fuck is he doing? Even the cool ice breath and laser vision superpowers are nothing but cheap throw in novelty upgrades to keep you from hurling the cartridge into a wall. Most frustrating are the graphics. Nintendo 64 had pretty decent graphics for its time, but not this game. The virtual metropolis world looks so spiritless, so obscure and appalling all at the same time that it's seriously difficult to muster up the energy to play past the opening scene. I mean, it's not fair comparing this game to other titles like Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, and even Banjo-Kazooie, when this game shows zero effort in its landscape and character spritz. Superman himself looks like a blue and red Lego turd. I hate looking at him. And what's more, glitches seem to ruin every mission. I mean, see this? I'm nowhere even close to that wall. How is this even happening? And it takes forever to get unhooked. God, this happens like every five minutes in the game. This annoying pink fog that you see everywhere is supposedly some sort of kryptonite fog to slow down Superman's powers. When in reality, I bet it was put there by the makers to mask the insanely terrible draw distances in the game. Shame on you, Titus. Shame on you. All in all, this is a seriously horrible game. I can't in all good faith recommend anybody to sit through this. I myself only played about 30 minutes before getting fed up and having to report this to the world. It's actually grown famous for how ridiculous it is. Everybody from game trailers, IGN, and even GameSpy dubbed this as one of the worst games ever made. Ever. Simply put, don't bother. Well everybody, thanks for sitting through that. I know it was really painful. But make sure you guys check out the rest of the countdown brought to you by True Story Gaming.